Hi, it is March 24th, 2020, and today's devotion is based on the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, beginning at the 13th verse. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God. Jason dreamed of becoming a U.S. Navy SEAL, Begin, beginning with early childhood. It was an ambition that led to years of physical discipline and self-sacrifice. He eventually faced grueling tests of strength and endurance including what's referred to by trainees as Hell Week. Jason was physically unable to complete the exhaustive training and reluctantly rang a bell, announcing to the commander and the other trainees that he chose to leave the program. For most, this would feel like failure. But in spite of his extreme disappointment, Jason was later able to see his military failure as preparation for his life's work. The Apostle Peter experienced his own form of failure. He boldly proclaimed that he would remain loyal to Jesus, even to prison or death. And yet later he wept bitterly after he denied that he even knew Jesus. No bell rang, but a cock did crow, announcing Peter's failure. But God had plans beyond this failure. Prior to Peter's denial, Jesus informed him, I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. Each day for the past couple weeks, as the bell sounded concluding each business day on Wall Street, many people heard this bell and heard it announce the failures of the day, the stock prices that dropped, the portfolios that lost value, and people saw themselves as failures. But God has another plan for us. God has a bigger picture in mind. Jesus looked at Peter and saw the longer trajectory of his life and his ministry, as far as building the church, which started with Peter, the rock on which the entire Christian church was built. And just so, Jesus has a longer-term picture in mind for you and me as we work through this coronavirus and in the days of our isolation and our self-quarantine Jesus still has a longer picture in mind and so we're encouraged to hold on to that view of the future and to remain calm and confident in Jesus' vision for us let us pray Continue to hold us, Lord Jesus, in your loving care. Give us confidence in your faith in us so that we may have faith in ourselves and trust in your promise that you will always be with us and lead us out of the valley. For it is in your name we pray. Amen.